Okay, so now it's time to move on a little bit and start applying some of these note names on the fretboard to songs that you'll be playing. Now, when you're playing jazz bass, the, the most important note that you can play is the root of a chord. Um, and you'll notice that I used my index finger, my first finger, crawling up the bass on all of these note names because initially that first finger is going to be the, the sort of our anchor finger on any song that we play or in any root, uh, root of any chord. So it becomes really, really important. Um, in jazz, we want to always play the root very, very solidly. So one of the first songs that you're going to learn to play is in the key of B flat. Now, what you're going to see when you look at that song is you're going to see that the first chord is B flat. So we're going to want to find a B flat with our first finger. Now there's a couple that we can choose and that's the beauty of playing jazz. You can really choose a lot of things on the bass. Now where are our B flats? Well first of all we know we've got a B flat here at the sixth fret on the E string. We also have a B flat here on the first fret of the A string. We also have a B flat here at the eighth fret of the D string, and we also have a B flat here on the third fret of the G string. So we have to make some choices. For now, let's stick with some lower string B flats because we're going to work from there. So we're going to start, when we're thinking B flat, we're going to think about the sixth fret on the E string for right now, okay? But you can do it in other places. Now, the tune then moves to the chord E flat. So now we start thinking, well, where's an E flat that's really kind of close in proximity to that B flat? And what we're going to find really quickly is that E flat is just one string away on the sixth fret of the A string. So we're going to use that index finger on the B flat. We're going to use it on the E flat. Then you'll go through the song and you'll see more B flats right back. So we'll just kind of toggle between those two. And then finally, you'll see an F at the very end. So we'll shift that hand up two frets and move from E flat to F here, finding that root. Now, this little pattern of a note here, a note directly across from it, and a note two frets up from that is going to be all over jazz. So we can really get used to that. Another thing that we can notice is that if we start on this B flat on the A string, we have B flat here, E flat here, and F here. So the pattern of moving straight across the string from B flat to E flat and, and up two frets to the F holds very true in this position, and in fact, it holds true in all positions. Okay? So, with that in mind, Let's play the tune Blues by Five. Now you're going to see the chord changes pop up on, the, um, on this video as well, and we're just simply going to play roots for every single chord, four beats per measure, okay? So let's do Blues by Five. Find my B flat, B flat. Another measure. E flat. B flat. F. B flat. F. And we're back to the beginning. B flat. Four quarter notes for every measure. E flat. B flat. F. B flat. F. And from there, we roll around to the beginning of the tune again. 
The bottom line, when you're playing these roots, you want to make sure that there are four quarter notes for every single measure that you see. You'll see these patterns as you go in the, in the blues tunes, but that bass root note is so, so very important. I would experiment with different patterns too. You could do it with one note on every other pulse as well, um, something like just to change things up a little bit, but knowing that you're keeping really solid on the root of every single chord. Give it a try. Good luck.